Hello friends, Dan from On One here. Today I want to talk about cropping your photos. Crop is one of the most common things you're going to do to your photos and one of the most important tools in any photo editor. And we've got a great one inside of Photo Raw and all of the standalone apps from On One. What I really wanted to show you today is the new crop overlays. But before we really jump into that, let me just give you a quick tour of crop. The crop tool is the first tool up here in the tool well. When I select that, you're going to see the crop overlay up here. That's the stuff that's going to be inside of your photo. You might also notice that I've closed all the tool panels on the left and right, so I've got a really big preview. You can always do that just by hitting the tab key. So I've got a big preview of my photo to work with, and by default, I'm going to see the entire photo. That crop tool is going to cover the entire photo, and it's going to be in what we call freeform mode, which means when I grab any of the corners or the sides, I can simply drag it around to any arbitrary shape that I want to. And when I click and drag in the middle, I can reposition it. Anything that's in the lighter colored area is what's going to be left of your photo. Anything that's in that darker outer area is what's going to get cut off. And if you hit the apply button or the return button on your keyboard, you'll see what I mean. So if I hit apply, bonk, all that stuff outside of it goes away. Don't worry, it's all non-destructive. I just go back to the crop tool and I'm right where I left off. All right, I'm going to hit the reset button. That takes me back to the full photo. If you need to crop to a specific aspect ratio to match a certain device or a certain paper type, you can do that here in the second combo box where you pick the different aspect ratios. So for example, if I'm going to print on 8x10 paper, I need to probably make sure I pick the 8x10 aspect ratio and then recompose my photo accordingly to fit it as best I can. Now the exciting part that I wanted to show you today are the new overlays. So when you select the crop tool, we automatically divide the middle, the part of the photo that's going to be preserved, into thirds, up and down and top to bottom. It's called the rule of thirds. If you've studied photography, you know that's a common compositional aid to help you out. And that's kind of always been that way. But people have always asked, well, gosh, I wish I had a, a tighter grid or I wish I had the golden ratio. Or there's lots of different other compositional aids out there. You can now access all of those from this menu right here. There's now a grid option. That's great if you're trying to align edges or parts of a building to a certain line for leveling. There's a diagonals option, which draws diagonal lines across the photo. There's triangles. There's the golden ratio, kind of similar to the rule of thirds, just the math's a little bit different. And then, of course, everyone's favorite, the golden spiral or the golden snail. And you can rotate these around as well. If you go up here to rotate the overlay, you can rotate that to whatever orientation you need to fit your photo, where the center of interest happens to be in the tip of the snail, for example. Now, the other changes that we've made in here, other than grabbing, adding all these great compositional tools, is you can control when you actually see those guys. Now, normally you're going to see that crop overlay all the time. Let me go to an obnoxious one like grid so you can really see this. So you see that grid all the time. You can now change it to automatically hide the overlay except for when you're manipulating the crop. So when I have this option on, the overlay is going to disappear until I actually grab a corner and I'm actively manipulating my crop box. That can be really handy as well. And of course, if you don't like those overlays at all, simply select the None option and you'll just see your photo, just like that. All right, there's lots more to the crop tool. You can learn about how to use it for leveling and how to use the Content Aware action or to rotate your photos in other videos in the video library. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.